All right, so when we fished up in Pensacola Bay with Captain Dave Yelverton, I decided to use the biggest spinning reel that I had. And at the time, that's a 10,500 spin fisher uh, made by Penn. Works really well. It's honestly one of the most consistent spinning reels I've used. And that's matched with a Penn rod, six, uh, 30 to 65 pound braid. It's matched for that. And so I know going up there, you know, picking out the biggest rod that I need to have, that this thing is going to suffice no matter what I run into. This just about catches everything in the ocean. That is the gold standard for bottom fishing. I really like to use a bigger rod than I think I need to when I do go bottom fishing because I don't want to lose that good fish. I love using light tackle just like anyone else, but I hate losing fish. Something else that worked really well for me is I decided to downsize something that's a little easier to work with all day long. This reel right here is a 6,500 and this is on a 20 to 40 pound rod matched for braided line. Once again, braided line on both of these uh, reel setups here absolutely critical for fishing bottom uh both uh spider wire and visibraid works really really well for me it's been once again a very consistent manufacturer for me um but it's very critical to use braided line now lure's choice i mean where do i even start there's no way of even summarizing this up very easily with this species because they eat everything when they're chewing they eat everything so the two lures that worked for me really well was the Hyperplastics, the seven inch bait, as well as the Spool Tech lure, which really did a good job. But here's the key. You really wanna use heavier weights than you think you need. You wanna hit bottom. If you go out there and you don't fish straight up and down, it's really hard to feel the bite. So I suggest going out there with more weight than you need. If you need to back off and use less weight, it's all good. It's not a problem, but you certainly wanna have more weight than what you really need. Now, I was fishing these baits on a jig head, okay? There's a lot of different ways to get down there. Um, Dave Yelverton was using menhaden uh, and, and sardines on a circle hook that above had what, what we call, you can fish them either on a knocker rig, which where the egg sinker, the, the, the lead itself goes all the way down to the hook, or goes to the swivel, which is above the leader line. Now that's not a problem. Real quick, I wanna cover something leader line choice so sometimes these fish are leader line shy but really for the most part they're not and so i i stuck to 80 pound mono i mean as high as 100 pound um you know sometimes when the bite's really scarce i'll back it down a little bit but the most important thing is to get that fish off the bottom and the 80 pound 100 pound is really what made us made it happen that day for us um other than that man it's a great fish for everybody to target you know the season is really limited in the, in the Gulf of Mexico as well as the Atlantic. So when that time comes, you wanna make sure you're prepared. You wanna make sure that you have everything you need in order to catch one of those fish beforehand so that the day that season opens, you can go out there and have a great day.